Congratulations, this is the end. Okay, you made it all the way through Askademics Intermediate Writing Course. Excellent job. I knew you could do it. If you made it this far, you should really be proud of yourself. I know it wasn't always easy. I know it took some time and some energy. So let's pause, pat yourself on the back, congratulate yourself. Excellent job. All right. Let's just take a few minutes to pause and reflect on what we've done over the uh, course of the last few lessons together, okay? So, first of all, remember our goals for this course. We wanted to practice writing fluently, okay? We've talked many times about how uh, moving from basic to intermediate writing and communication we're moving from just simply expressing our ideas in a basic sense to trying to find different, sophisticated, creative ways to describe what we're feeling, what we're doing, how we're talking, okay? And in particular, we're looking at different ways that we can express the same idea. So in just said, instead of just saying, I am happy, finding different ways to talk about that. I am ecstatic, I am thrilled, I am pleased, okay? By the way, again, I am pleased that you made it this far, okay? Can't say that enough. Number two, we learned, uh, spe we wanted to learn about some uh, specific phrasing and expressions. So I remember we talked about to be or to get used to something we talked about the conditional tense, right? We talked about several different ways in which we can uh, use some models of uh, phrases to discuss some more sophisticated, some more specific expressions that we wouldn't necessarily know as a beginner, okay? And especially my favorite part, the last part here, our goal was to develop a deeper vocabulary, okay? So again, going beyond those basic words in English and especially trying to find some ways in which we can um, discuss ideas in a more uh, intense way, we can use some of these frameworks to, uh, we can use some of these frameworks to continue learning vocabulary beyond just this course with the two of us together. Okay? So those were our goals. Let's see what we covered. Hopefully we got there. Okay? So some of the things that we've learned, uh, we started off by talking about English style. Remember, English style, it should be clear, it should be direct, it should be very succinct. Okay? So saying things in as short a way as possible, and trying to avoid long, complicated sentences. Uh, some of you might have stuck around for the bonus lesson where we talked about the passive versus the active voice. Okay, so active voice is going to be more clear, more direct, therefore we should try to use the active voice in our English writing. We talked about introductory clauses and linking words. These are ways that we can connect sentences together, okay? It keeps them from sounding uh, repetitive. Uh, it helps us to see what the connections are between one idea to the next, okay? We also talked about the conditional tense. Remember, conditional tense, that is when we are imagining a scenario that did not happen, okay, but maybe it could have. All right, in a different uh, reality, in a different time. So it's something that could have happened. And then what is the result of that? Okay, so remember, that's what that specific phrasing is for. We also learned about another kind of phrasing with uh, to be or to get used to. So this is a phrase that discusses something that was strange. Uh, was unusual, was challenging, but now it is something that is familiar. 
it's not challenging it's a lot easier so it's a specific phrase to discuss those kinds of situations and lastly we discussed how we can build vocabulary so we did uh, the challenge where we looked at different ways to discuss basic emotions so going beyond happy sad scared to develop more uh, nuanced more advanced ways of discussing those words and then we also looked at the chart where we saw uh, how often it's not just one word that we're learning there are the different forms of the word that we can learn so it's a bit of a four for one deal when we uh, look at building vocabulary that way oof boy that's a lot goodness we really learned quite a bit together didn't we uh, congratulations for making it that far looking at this list I think that's really incredible I hope you gained a lot from this as well all right and okay so some reminders all right I want to remind you that speaking a language is not a fixed state okay it's not permanent it's not yes or no okay what I mean is that we don't simply just learn something and it sticks there in our mind and it never leaves okay I wish that was the case I wish it did happen that way unfortunately life is not that easy okay instead it takes frequent practice okay frequent practice so um, I want you to keep that in mind with everything that you've learned here so my my tips all right Alex's tips number one communicate with English speakers now I know that maybe you don't have um, you know maybe you don't have English speakers who are your neighbors or who are right next to you maybe you don't live in an English speaking community that's okay right we live in a world with the internet with uh, cell phones with communication so be responsible but you know there are plenty of online forums uh, there are articles that you can read uh, there are pen pals that you can find people to write letters to you can watch videos you can listen to radio keep communicating with English speakers writing listening speaking you know anything that you can find but try to communicate okay it's how you're going to uh, not only keep up with your skills but it's how you're going to get better okay number two related to that read write and listen in English okay so again you want to be using these different skills as often as possible so that you don't start to forget them okay and they are also going to become more and more natural the more often you use them okay so physically mentally have that repetition going where you're reading writing and listening in English very often All right number three keep studying okay you are intermediate with writing that is a great place to be but there is so much more to learn okay languages are big complex things you know it's hard for us to ever say that we are truly a master I don't know if I'm a master of English by the way I don't think I am I have a lot to learn I keep studying so study 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 all right there's always more to learn you know it helps you get better it helps you remember what you learned and remember you can always find more courses on askademic.com please feel free to leave reviews all right tell us how we're doing tell us what went well what you would like to learn okay but regardless if it's with askademic or if it's with anybody else keep studying okay good <laughs> one last thing so we have our last journal entry this is it guys this is the last part here okay so with our last journal I want you to think back 
to the original goals that you set in our first journal entry. Okay, go back and read them. Okay, try to remember what they were. Okay, and with this journal, I want you to reflect on your experiences and your goals from the course. What did you learn? What successes did you have? What challenges did you overcome? And where do you want to go next? Okay, so spend a few minutes write down your reaction to this journal and in the end I encourage you to go back and reread your journal entries and see how far you came. I'm sure that they got better over time and you might be surprised at how much you've improved. Okay, So that's it. One last time this is Alex. This was Askademics Intermediate Writing Course. I want to thank you one last time for all of your hard work and your attention. Please leave us a review on askademic.com. Please keep studying, keep speaking, keep writing, keep working, and I will see you next time. Good luck.